Welcome to TCT Boxing in association with IFL TV and MGM Marbella. Here we have David Birchall, trainer of San Marseille. Thanks yes. for joining us, David. Thanks, mate. Yeah, first to be here. No worries. Australian fighter with a great Australian pedigree yourself. How are you finding this event? Australian public seems to have captured you know, the imagination of the Australian public here with uh, this fight. It's great, you know, it's a great thing. Um, but with Anthony Mundine, putting, he's risking everything with this fight. This is do or die for him, and that's a great fight. It's great promotion. Brian and Matrice put a fantastic show using young, up and coming Aussie talent. You know, giving everyone an opportunity, which is great. You know? And um, stylistically, how do you see that fight going? Obviously, you know Anthony well. Hey, if Chalk comes in and he's Chalk, no, he can do anything. I, I could never, I could never put a champion down. You know, he, he's always got that one great fight, and it's going to be a big effort for Robinchenko if he's going to beat Chalk. You know, um, obviously I'm going for Chalk. You know, love him to death, so you want to see him succeed. Absolutely. And other than um, other than the main event, Mandy Mavchenko, are there any other fights on the card that you see as standouts or ones you want to watch out for? Lenny Zappa's fight, Kai McKenzie's fight, they're cracking fights. Lucas Brown, they're all more or less main events on their own. You know, so it's great. You got like four main events on the card. Even the preliminary fights are all good fights. So that's what you want. It's great for Aussie boxing. Yeah. I'm seeing in your your fight, Sam, uh, on the undercard as well. I've actually fought in the same undercard as Sam a couple of times in the past. <laughs> not quite at this level. Yeah. How would you, how are things changing with yourself and Sam? Obviously, you've moved around a little bit as a as a you know, as a been up and coming trainer. Trainer, you seem to have settled yeah. with yourself. Well, um, Sam was actually living with my parents when he first turned pro and he came to Sydney. So I've known Sam a long time. I've always been involved with his career. And I think it's just that uh, Southpaw thing, you know, we're both Southpaws, we're, we're a bit special us there, it is, so we kind of understand each other a little bit better. And that Mick Ackway did a great job with Sam beforehand, um, you know, like, he's, it's, it's much easier coming in when you know they've got great foundations and stuff like that. And for um, Mick, it's more he can concentrate more on Bilal's career, his son's career, so yeah, there's no animosity there, we all still work together, so that's how it should be. Perfect. And what are you seeing with Sam in terms of his moving forward? I know in the last fight you got caught, but other than that, looked very commanding in that fight, other than taking yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah. What, um, you know, what, what's changing for him? What is tweaking in the sense of his style? Just so he's fighting to, to win the fight all the time, not fighting just to survive or not to lose. He's coming out to win every round, every second of every round. Uh, yeah, he got caught that last fight, but I was actually impressed with the way he reacted to it. You know, it's boxing, it happens. He reacted well, and I was very happy with it. Yeah, I've seen that all goes down to experience as well. Uh, you know, people are going to get knocked down and yeah. have to be able to go back and see come through and won that fight. Looking forward at those more difficult fights, is there um, anything that you think, or where do you see Sam going in 10 years' time? Has he got the instruments to get to the level of one day? Oh, he's definitely got the ability. A lot of people have ability and natural ability and all that kind of stuff, but it's then you've got to combine it with dedication, hard work, and putting things together, backing yourself with it. I'd love for him to fight Cameron Hammond. No, I think that's a great fight, um, especially within the next six months. You know, it's a great Aussie fight. There's really no loser in it because they're both great fighters. And then they whoever wins obviously progress to the next level. The loser will just have to reevaluate, and you know, Cameron will have to find something else. Might have to go up a division. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> well, I wish you both the best of luck. We'll see you afterwards and uh, speak soon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thanks, mate. No worries. Cheers.